We have dozens and dozens of EWG standards, safety standards for drinking water contaminants now. We don't have the force of law behind them, but they're in place. We have our own rating system for personal care products and food and cleaning products. That gives you, I think, the sense that we, we really do want to follow the science. And if the government has not caught up, if industry has not caught up, we're not going to let those norms determine where the goalposts should be. And the goalposts, no surprise, should be health. Shop organically, shop for fruits and vegetables at places where they, uh, they try and give you choices that are low in pesticides, even if they're not organic, following our guide. I start with food, okay? It's an everyday, multiple times a day moment where you can make a decision. Um, go meatless one day of the week, go meatless on Monday. Um, we, we support that campaign and that eliminates a lot of the exposures you get from uh, contaminants that are in the fat of meat and in, the, in the, the tissue itself. Shop smarter for produce. Eat more of it. Eat lower on the food chain, closer to a plant-based diet. That's going to eliminate a lot of toxic exposures right there and is healthier for you. Second thing, I would look under your sink. I would look uh, in the bathroom, I would look anywhere you store cleaning products and I would just systematically, you can go ahead and if you wanna finish off what you've, what you've got there, don't dump it down the drain or throw it in the trash, finish what you've been using but go to our healthy cleaning guide and start replacing the toxic versions of these cleaning products to clean your counter or your dishes or your laundry with, with the ones our scientists have reviewed and have concluded they're a safer bet. Then do personal care. When you're in your bathroom, when you're looking through your purse, your makeup kit, um, go, go to EWG. And again, we, we don't want people just throwing stuff out and wasting their, throwing their money away in that way. These are all chronic exposures. So it's over a long period of time and finishing up what you might have, but you can begin replacing them slowly but surely. Um, in your home, um, you know, be, be thoughtful about how and when you clean. You'll reduce asthmagens if you follow our cleaning guide. One step at a time is the key thing. You don't even have to be completely, by any means, organic in your food consumption to knock down a lot of these exposure events that we worry about at EWG because we don't regulate individual chemicals very rigorously and we don't regulate them in combination at all. So if you're taking in multiple chemicals that have multiple effects on your immune system, there's no federal agency that's controlling that or even studying it really. So you want to knock down those exposure events by smarter shopping, taking the steps you can in your everyday life. And it, you know, it's kind of rewarding. It, you, you don't have to completely change the way you live. You just have to make these changes on the edges. And then I always tell people, find an issue that really draws your attention. Maybe it's when people want to start a family is a moment they come to EWG and the other moment is when they get some bad news from the doctor or when someone they love gets some bad news. Um, those teachable moments, li listen to yourself at those moments.